Since Pageant's debut in 2004, no queen from Mindanao was ever crowned, yet as Miss International Queen Philippines, Honorable Leo Revita accepted the challenge for searching for the first Mindanao queen to possibly wear that Philippine sash in the international stage this year. What advice would you give her to keep off this pageant strong and significant? And how far would you go to get the crown? Again, since pageant's debut in 2004, no queen from Mindanao was ever crowned yet as Miss International Queen Philippines Honorable Leo Rivita accepted the challenge for searching for the first Mindanao Queen to possibly wear the Philippine sash in the international stage. This year, what advice would you give her to keep uh, off this pageant uh, strong uh, and significant? And how far would you go to get the crown? I believe that Madame Leo Rivita is a leader that knows the way, shows the way, and leads the way. And I am so proud that we have the chance to be part of this competition. That's why the only advice that I can tell her is just to believe that it's now, meaning the now. Because if I will be given a chance to become the next Miss International Queen, I'm going to leverage my recognition to fight not only for my dreams, but for my advocacy as well, which is the Pinas safe space in Iligan. And hopefully, I can bring that aspect to the rest of the world to amplify the unheard and their untold stories, to challenge prejudicial, discriminatory, cultural common beliefs. Then instead of keeping the standards straight, we must make it flexible and inclusive to all. This is what a true queen means. And this is a queen I'd like to define myself. Thank you.